I know, this is great. I never get to review video nasty. This is going to be my first time. That oh, God. Ugh. Got stabbed in my titty. Oh, gosh. Right in my sexy ass 80s titty. Welcome back, friends, to the Cadaver Club. I didn't really get stabbed in my sexy ass 80s titty, uh, but check this out. I never really get to show anything I make at work, uh, but I made this for a charity thing. It's like a little part of a sword. Um, anyway, pretty cool. This is the Horror Man Slashback Challenge. The theme of the week is Video Nasties. Um, so the movie I chose to review was one I had never seen before entitled Bloody Moon from 1981. Uh, and this is a Spanish film um, and it was actually prosecuted. So this is, uh, was banned in the UK. And um, yeah, what can I say about it? Let's jump right into it. So uh, let's get into the pros and cons. Depending on how you look at this, this could either be a pro or a con. Uh, this movie is objectively terrible. It is a bad movie. The level of badness is almost like so surreal that uh, it feels like a, almost like a stylized artistic choice, but it's not. I think it's just a shitty movie, but it is so bad that you might just love it. There are plenty of horror movies that are absolutely terrible movies that I love. So just take that with a grain of salt. Um, so why does it suck? Uh, okay. The screenplay is terrible. This, the general story is awful. Well, let me give you a brief synopsis real quick. Uh, a lady is attending a foreign language school and there's a serial killer on the loose. Um, and he sort of torments her a bit. That's the brief synopsis. There is a weird fucking windy road to get through all that nonsense though. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get into it in this review, so I'll just start with the cons. The cons are the screenplay is terrible, but the script is awful, the acting is pretty bad. Um, yeah, all that stuff is terrible. The characters are bizarrely bad. Um, and the choices they make and the things they say is just fucking weird. Okay, screenplay is bad. Acting's bad. Direction is bad. So what's good? Well, there is some good gore and there is like some uh, good kills. So this movie... Um, really picks up the pace in the last half hour. There is a great circular saw decapitation that this movie is famous for. Um, that was really cool. There's a burning, there's a neck stabbing with like a knitting needle type of thing. There is like a weird tongue pinch that <laughs> happens. It doesn't make any sense. There's definitely a titty stab, which was uh, I paid homage to in the beginning of this video. And uh, yeah, so some of the kills are good. Some of the gore is really good. The decapitation looks great. Um, and it's a cool little sequence, but I'm just gonna break down the decapitation scene, okay? First, I'm gonna start by saying there is this two minute scene in this movie where it shows students chanting, basically just like listening to an audio lesson and like reciting it back. This lasts for two minutes. It is insane. Who edited this? Uh, but anyway, um, so anyway, the characters are so fucking surrealistically weird. That's, those aren't even words. That's how weird this movie is. It makes me use words that aren't real. Um, yeah, so the characters are so weird. Uh, there's a lady, right? and she meets some guy in a mask <laughs> and, uh, and she's like talking to him as he's tying her up on the stone slab in front of the circular saw, a tile saw. And um, 
and she's talking to him like, oh, my friends aren't going to believe how wild I am, you know. I can't believe we're going to do it, you know. You don't have to have a mask on. You should take it off. I haven't seen your face. Oh, I don't, you don't have to tie me up. I'm not going to go anywhere. It's fucking insane. Uh, so anyway, he finally finishes tying her up and turns us on and she starts going towards it. Um, ultimately, to meet her end. Uh, and it looks cool. It does look cool. Um, and apparently it is cool enough to be prosecutable. Uh, but anyway, so the characters are awful. Um, but you might have a blast watching this movie. If you're watching this with some friends and you guys are feeling funny and making fun of it and stuff, there is plenty of material here. So it could be a very fun watch. Uh, but I watched it alone and I did laugh real hard at one scene. There's a scene where the final girl, the main girl, is like barricading herself in because the killer's outside. So there's like this exterior French door thing and she puts, pushes the couch in front of it, puts the chairs on it, all sorts of stuff. And then her friend knocks on the door and she's like, oh, I'm out here. So she starts taking all this stuff off and then her friend just opens the door, it opens outwards. It's like so ridiculous. She basically just put like a little step for the killer. Anyway, it was stupid and I laughed. Um, yeah, so in conclusion, this movie is bizarre and how bad it is, but some of the gore is good. Some of the kills are okay. Um, you know, the price is right if you watch it for free on YouTube. Yeah, I guess it had to happen, guys. I had to give something a negative review at some point. They can't all be classics. Uh, anyway, that's the ant. Her face got burnt. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, join the Cadaver Club. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.